Can I just play compare and contrast in okay. terms of class, grace? <sighs> Trump is now charging his supporters $40 a pop to buy a roll of Let's Go Brandon Christmas wrapping paper. In case you'd like to teach your children young how to say f*** you to the president. The meaning of the season, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the reason for the season. Sure. Uh-huh. <sighs> I go off. Uh, Dave in Minneapolis, <clears throat> the official pastor of the Stephanie Miller Show. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, Mama. Um, uh, you know, the, the, the idiocy of the uh, this Republican Party and the stuff that they're going to be doing with all these ridiculous investigations, uh, that's one thing that's pretty insidious. But there's another motivation for them as well. Um, I just found this really great quote by Dr. Ames Wilson. It says, if you want to understand any problem in America... You need to focus on who profits from that problem, not who suffers from the problem. Mm-hmm. And what's so, so great about that, I think, is that they want to maintain the issues that are going on in this country because of the select few that gain money, gain power, and continue to have power. As re- because the, the problems, if it gets actually get solved, will get they'll get their power will get undermined, and they'll they'll lose money. They think. Uh, there's this is mindset amongst some of the the most rich and powerful that if somebody gets something else then they lose out, which is ridiculous. And so I think that we're going to see that's one of the motivations that they have for doing nothing because they don't want to lose control. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. I you know, and I have to say, it's just it, it really is. I guess the end of an era. But you, Nancy Pelosi's entire life has been about service, mm-hmm. has been about uh, you oh. know serving other people and it's just this party they serve only themselves whether it's trump trying to profit personally or mm-hmm. or you know them just doing anything to hang on to power not one thing they've proposed or are going to do ha- will help one person or family in this country not at all no th- they have absolutely no interest in doing that whatsoever it's if it isn't about me 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 it's not it's of no value to anyone um the ridic- and they're the absurdity of the things that they're suggesting, you know, as was it's been mentioned several times in your show. Let's let's uh, raise the voting age, but uh, because we don't like the people who who uh, vote against us, but let's maintain the uh, the eighteen year old ability to uh, go get shot up for for some yeah. ridiculous war and whatever. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. There's no there's no re- rhyme or reason except selfishness. Yeah, absolutely. By the way. Another, uh, you know, profile in whatever you want to call it, cowardice, lack of class, mm-hmm. is the um, chamber was packed with Democratic lawmakers. Republican side was largely empty. They yeah. can't even offer her the respect after how many, 11, how many years? 11 billion. 11 billion point, years she's though. been serving. Huh? Yeah. I don't expect it at yeah, this that, point. You yeah. don't expect But I mean, really? I, just as a show that. of respect, just... Uh, yeah. They have no respect. Yeah. Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I have some guests to coach for you. Who oh, says, okay. Um, All right. Let's go. She will go down in history without equivocation as the strongest, most effective, most powerful speaker, speaker the country has ever had, and her talents and skills are unmatched. The Bugaloos. No, that would be Representative Jackie Spear oh. of the also the great state of California. Okay. Uh, who said, uh, because of Nancy Pelosi, the lives of millions and millions of Americans are better, even in districts represented by Republicans who voted against her bills and too often vilify her. That's Nancy, always working for the dignity of all the people. Witchy poo. No, that would be President Joe Biden, oh, oh. president of these okay. United States. He's good. Of America. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll give you one. Okay. Though right. you don't deserve it. I, I will I'm give good you one less. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, this was uh, regarding the uh, passing the economic stimulus mm-hmm. package under Barack Obama. Who said somebody asked me if this was a victory for Barack Obama? It's not. This victory belongs to her. As far as I know, she never sleeps or eats. Who said that? Dr. Shrinker. No, Representative Louise Slaughter of the great state of New York. I can confirm that she doesn't eat because remember yes. I had the dinner party yeah. that I was so concerned about, right? Yes. The food and ever whatever she would like and work with her staff. Didn't. No. That might have been because she was afraid you are going to put some of your blood in it. This was this predated the, the Debbie Boone vampire incident. <laughs> Just saying. Have we checked in on Debbie Boone yet? Uh, She's not a vampire. Are you sure? Yes. Does she sparkle like diamonds in the sun when you guys well, go for bicycle rides? Well, that was pre-vampire. That was before she ingested No, blood. That, I've seen the Twilight movies. Have That's you, what happens. Have you talked to her outside in the daylight? Oh, I wonder if Herschel Walker's told anyone that Debbie Boone might be a vampire. Maybe he was talking about Debbie Boone the she, whole time. Yeah, she needs to feed. Now, every time I see her, so I just think, they're wolf. Werewolf. Yeah. Werewolf. They're, they're wolf. They're wolf. I want somebody to show him that movie Blackula from the 70s. 
Debbie Boone needs to feed. Why not send her to, to Herschel Walker? Uh. When, how many more what the hell Herschel's are we do we have just two weeks left we have two weeks oh you won't even be here I will here. be here for next oh, week oh thank god alright Chris you may have to really no, no. you're gonna make me get Herschel Walker drops I don't know no, wear I a think, bicycle crash helmet you know what helmet. I think my soul might be just dead I don't even know if I can play anymore well Twitter will be dead too so Pam. I prayed yesterday <laughs> that there wouldn't be any for Frangela and you know what a prayer was answered huh? Pam in New Hampshire hello Pam hi Stephanie now before you say no I think Joe Biden should go ahead and Pardon his son, because this is the information they, quote, got. Wait a minute. Wait. Because this is what Trump sent Giuliani over for. The FBI warned the Republicans before 2020 that this was Russian disinformation. I mean, and the people that are questioning him asked for pardons and tried to overthrow the election. So how can they? I just don't get this. Yeah. Um, well, it's, it's going to kill him. He's think, already got drug issues. I know. I think uh, President Biden actually believes in the rule of law and the separation right. of you know the executive uh, from the judicial. But the people questioning him got part after pardons and tried to overthrow this government. Right? That makes yeah. no sense. And they are awful people. By the way, I love oh. that Pam. I knew. I love that Pam knew that she was going into a headwind of naysaying. Yeah. much like I like, walk into every morning. What do you mean? I'm like, well, I come down here to a warm, supportive yes, staff who thinks I'm funny and smart. And we give you a hug every time. Supportive you come of down all here. of my efforts. No, or do I look? Do I walk down here into a maelstrom of you, negativity? I think the first words of our mouth was, "Go and, back upstairs. You're early." Yeah, you're early. Go mm-hmm. back. That, that's what we say every you morning. You don't want to send a second more than you're paid for to send to stay to stay with me. Well, you know, contrary to popular belief, we're actually You're doing like, we're not work. getting paid for these two minutes before well, the show. No, Ask me that question getting, in two hours and 29 minutes how I feel. We're actually doing work, contrary to popular belief, down here. And when I you come down to, there, it, you I need it all to have about Twitter you. explained to me this morning. You know me, I'm not, I'm like, I don't get it. Is it dead? It's still there. Did explain you understand our explanation to yes, you? Yes, yes, I did. No. Okay. Really? I don't understand tech. I was like, I don't know, it looks the same to me. What's it, going on? Oh. No. Okay. It's not as dire as some people are making it out to there be. There are people drama queening on there, yes, I have there, to say. Uh, yes. I'm leaving. Slam. Yeah. All right. I'll be back, but here's yes. my... Right now, or it's, it's, like, like, it's been nice knowing you all. You know, it's I'm, like, I'm oh, a come stay on. and fight person. I did I'm say a, last I'm night lucky. before bed, I was like, I hope y'all are here I'm in the morning. I'm in Twitter fight club. I'm not leaving. Right now, Tw- Toons is the driving cat is managing the server. Yes. At and Twitter I'm headquarters. clinging on the back seat. And, on and the- you know what? There are other ways to talk to you. Yes. You, know, there, you have a Facebook. You have right. an Instagram. Instagram. So right. it's not like you're going to die. Maybe I'll take another whirl at that TikTok the kids are doing. Well, I- Bob, Bob Seska just texted us. Yeah. Uh-oh. He says that Pam sounds like Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> oh, Jennifer, is that you? <laughs> She auditioned for my late night show. If Jennifer, Jennifer, a lot of people auditioned for my show that became much, much bigger stars than me. Mm-hmm. That was a missed opportunity for her that worked out yeah. well. Jennifer yeah, cool my, that, my whole career is one big star is born. Just me. <laughs> while other people are. Huh? You're going to be pe- uh, peeing yourself. Yeah, over like I started in, in radio with Rachel Maddow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Don't you feel like my whole life is just one long. I'm having a bad. Life? Yeah, it's just, you know, it's very star is well, born. Jennifer I cool. hear that shallow song in my head all the time. Jennifer Coolidge is having a moment. When is your moment? I don't. I, when is? <laughs> Rachel did so well. She only has right. to work one day a week. Yeah, I know. I know for how did that how much happen? Did, and how much does Rachel get paid for that one day? Eleventy billion dollars. Thank you. What do I make? One shiny penny in my basement. And that's only if the guy who who owns the show shows up. If he's in the mood. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why am I laughing? He's in a good okay. mood though. His bread on the way home was a croissant. Cro- croissant. My my getting paid depends on what kind of sandwich bread he gets. Right. <laughs> Dude, he got a croissant. You should get a bonus. Yeah. Joe in Chicago. Lady. Hello, Joe. Yes, hey, good morning. Hello. I just wanted to um, say that the, quote, media really needs to honor the great Eric Boulder, um, and they should just not present Republican statements as anything remotely resembling credible news, and everything yeah. that, that the media says and the headlines should just state yeah. Lying lunatics say more crazy things as they continue to waste oh my God, the Joe, dollars every day. Trump's whatever you want to call that announcement speech. I mean, I, even the, all the fact checkers gave up. They, yeah. they like stopped at 20. I mean, literally almost nothing he said was true. And I thought, I'm not even going to take the time on our show to go through all of them. <laughs> right? It's not worth it. it yeah. It, it's Yes. And that, yeah. yeah. That, that's the Republican Party, and the media just has to just hammer it home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that they're wasting money and they're lying, 
and just saying things that are insane. Yeah, and I know not it's exhausting. Make it a headline like it's something that should be considered seriously. Yeah. No, I, I get it that I guess you have to report, but it is exhausting. Everything you report he says, you have to immediately say, that is not true. Mm-hmm. That thing he said, no, yeah. no, no, right. no, no, and no. Okay, 45 minutes after the hour. You know, we got a real newsman coming up. We yes, do. we do. Allie Velshi, right? He said he stopped calling them the next, uh, election deniers. Uh-huh. They're election liars. Yes. And, and that's how he says it on TV. And he's the bald prophet of doom. Yes, he he's is. He's going to class this and He was up. right.